Hello YouTube friends, this is Major with Major Honey. I'm going to uh, do my weekly inspection here at the uh, house. We're looking at about a six, seven day since my last inspection here. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to take a look and see what's going on here. They're starting to come out to the super and working on them a little bit. This, uh, not a whole lot. Don't look like they've got anything grown out yet. They're on here working. popular flow here wasn't as intense as I thought it was going to be. They didn't really bloom like I anticipated them. They did some and it may it may come still come a little bit heavier but uh, they've not really done a whole lot in the super but they're uh, they're looking really good here in this top box. It shouldn't be much longer by the time they move on up. Yeah, and it's had a smoker crash right there. <laughs> well, that's all right, it didn't hurt it none. Pull a few frames out here just to see where we're at. Got a little bit of uh, some comb on top, not uh, not too bad. Just a few places here. I like to remove that. really hot today so I waited till the sun was going down before I came out just to try to make it a little easier on me having to fight the sun well that frame is almost capped and Got a little bit of larva down there on the bottom. And when that, uh, when they cap that, they'll finish it off. But it's full as all this honey is going to be capped probably before they hatch. So to give her room, I might have to, uh, I might have to pull this frame before they before they hatch. There's a little bit on the bottom on this side too. So, let's see what we got on the next frame here. With that outside frame really being 
partially capped. They're going to be moving up in that super pretty soon. Here's another one that's the same way. They've got half of it capped and a little brew down on the bottom. It's capped though, so. Same thing on this side. They're just... Waiting on that little bit to hatch there. The rest of it's full of honey, getting ready to cap it. I have a lot of brood here, you can see. And she's got young larvae and eggs up in the top. Got some more larvae over here. So it looks like she's still doing well. Same thing on the other side. The frame's about identical on both sides. A lot of brood on this frame as well. So when all this this box is going to blow up, and they're really going to hit that super hard, and I'll pull some of these frames out. That's when they get the rest of that honey capped and replace it with new frames for them. Another frame with a lot of brood on it. The young larva. So it's really looking good. I'm going to put this one back together and we're going to, I'm going to move on. That's all I really needed to see. So, the next time we look at this one, they should be well up into the super. So, but with all that, with all that larva, I mean all that cat brood going to hatch out soon, we definitely need this super on here. They might get overcrowded inside, they might want to swarm or something. So, that box is looking good. See what see what the one beside of it looks like. the super
So they've started pulling it out. A lot of you know, big drones, quite a few drones there. Okay, they got nectar on this side as well. Both sides of that one as well. Let me get in here a little closer to the typical brood nest area and see. Yeah. So, honey, that's almost honey. They was getting real close to the top, and you can see how amber, amber looking it is. Same on this side as well. Let's see what we got over here on this next one. I wouldn't be surprised to see that she's maybe laid some eggs up here. No, that's honey. I don't see any yet. Yeah, they're they're putting honey in it. Same here, they got a little pollen in here. Yep. It's pretty much a little bit on all of them there. See what this outside frame looks like. Yep, honey and pollen. Yeah, they're starting to cap some of it over here. On this side. side frame and then the next frame we've got brood on see you there and well, these guys are gonna be really heavy with bees here in the next week or two as well and in the top I see two day old larvae Them a little older around the outer edges. And here's some young larvae up here. A lot of bees on that frame. Need to look at this to see, you know, how much room she has. So I need to be, make sure I don't have to be concerned about space for her. She's already got all the ones that have hatched, already have got larvae in them already.
same thing on this side. Make, you know, they make make sure they don't get too crowded too fast. You know, they're making a few making a few drones there. Sometimes that's an indication that they might be considering swarming because they want to make sure they have drones to make with the queen, new, new queens. So. It's full of young larvae. Also, that's three frames of Wow, okay. This is all full of young larvae also, the whole frame. Frame is too. She's really laying it up very well. Can start over here and see. And then it goes all the way across. That's the center frame. The center of the brood chamber. And pull out one more here. Same thing here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, these guys are really going to blow up. I might have to put another super on them. deal looking good there seeing all we need to see wow okay This box is really working it. <laughs> There's quite a few bees here on the, this super. So. so it looks like everybody's coming along pretty good. A lot of bees moved up and started working on these. And this is the outside frame. Yep. So they're pulling it out. what I needed to see there so we don't have to go I can look down in it there's a lot of bees still down on the bottom so
we're going to go ahead and move on. Just basically checking to make sure I don't, that uh, they're not too crowded and that, uh, make sure they're not too crowded and that uh, I don't, you know, in case I, some of them are further along, just to give me an idea where they're at so I know what some of my time frame is going to be. guys yeah so we're gonna pull we're gonna pull a couple of these out and see what they look like This stand is a little taller here than the other ones, and you can tell the difference. I mean, this is a double eight with a super, same as the one we just, the last couple ones we just looked at. So this might be just a smidge too tall, because time I add another super to it, it's going to be hard for me to see the top of it. Now, this is really close being ready to pull. Got a little bit down here on the bottom. A little bit right through here. This whole side, this whole side's ready. It's pretty much completely capped. Which is nice because they got several customers really wanting some honey. Yep, this one's capped. On both sides. Looks like the other one is too. There's just a, a few more, you know, just little in areas here and there. This one's got some on the bottom that they need to finish off. After still pulling the whole super off, I might just uh, have to have, just pull a few frames off. She's got this frame half full of brood. Which, that's okay. That's not a problem. I'll just leave these two frames in there, and I'll pull a few frames out and then replace them with new frames. And, it's no big deal. Other side has cat boot on it as well. And the frame beside of it <laughs> has has brood on it. But I can give this I'm gonna give this to the I'm gonna give this a few more days and I can probably pull three three, four, five, I'd probably pull like five frames and extract that honey and put them some new frames in here. And it hadn't been that, really that long since I put this box on here. And I added the eight frame box to it. It's really heavy. Yeah, I just wanted to see. It's 
See, there's a... Looks like a queen cup right there. It don't have anything in it. Sure is heavy. <laughs> All right. All right. We're gonna move on to the my last eight frame down here. And see, see where it's at. so since I put this super on too so it looks like they're they're working on it tomorrow I'm going to my other yard what I call my other him yeah, and see how they're doing yeah they're pulling it out looks like uh, This one's got honey in it already. That's on both sides held out nice and pretty. And the one side of it. And we're pulling it out nicely. See there. They're starting to get a little rowdy because the, the sun's starting to go down. It's getting shady down here. A lot of them, a lot of them are coming back from work, so I don't like me messing with them. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I'll uh, I'll be I'll be catching you later and try to get some stuff over to other yards. Videoed tomorrow when I go out in the morning. So we'll uh, we'll go from there. And thanks for watching and like and subscribe. Appreciate you. We'll see you next time.